Ever since I bought this laptop, I've been wanting to customize it in some way. When I first got it, it had this uh, really irritating, like, lined or grooved texture to it that would collect fingerprints. So I waited until the one year warranty expired, and then a few months ago, I, uh, I sanded all of that texture off, and now it looks like this, which I'm honestly happy with. It's unique. But I still wanted to put some kind of paint or picture or color on it. You know what? Why not? A pineapple! So I've carved in little grooves and I'm about to mix up some paint, see if I can come up with a good color. I have a few colors of paint. I have this uh, really pale yellow and I don't really know why it's pale because the bottle just says yellow. This is supposed to have a gloss finish, which I guess the finish doesn't really matter a whole lot. And then I have this regular yellow and a matte finish. And then I have this uh, this paint here that I used on a, a different project. And I want kind of a yellow that's very, very slightly tinted green. So that's what this is for. And if I just take a tiny bit of this, mix it with a whole lot of that. Okay, that's more of a lime. I want more yellow in that. I think that'll do it. That's the color we want. Without primer, I'm not really sure how this is gonna go down. Just wanna give my laptop a little something unique. Something nobody else has. I don't think I've ever seen anybody with a pineapple on their laptop. The great thing is, it doesn't matter if it doesn't look perfect, as long as you can see it. Because if it doesn't look perfect, people will assume it's on purpose. You know what's great about pineapples? They're happy. Have you ever seen a sad pineapple? Pineapples are tropical and cheery and sunny and celebratory. Not like oranges. Have you ever seen a celebratory orange? What kind of a name is that anyway? It's not fit for a color or a fruit. I do fully expect everyone who watches this to grab a knife, slice up their laptop, and cover it in paint after I'm done. And then send me pictures of all of your laptops covered in painted tropical fruit, but not oranges. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes. In other news, while I was painting that, I dropped the wet paintbrush on my brand new shorts, and then I went and scrubbed the paint off of them, and now they look like this. Light! Sandpaper! Sandpaper! I'm just gonna go real gently here. Alright! I have sanded all of the paint off. And now my hands look like they're covered in, I don't know, bee pollen or mold. Bees don't produce pollen. That would be cool if they did though. You can kind of see the pineapple, I guess. Brush it with the dust, brush it with the dust. Let me dust it with the brush. Okay, okay, I can see it. Can you see it? Let me bring you in close. There it is. See, you can see that. So, it's subtle-ish. I might, I might do something different, but you can see it. Dude, check this out. I came out here to eat my breakfast. And I found a tiny little tree frog. That is the smallest tree frog I have ever seen in my life. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, but there are two problems. One, uh, even though it looks pretty good, under certain light, under most light, you really can't see it unless you're really up close and or looking for it. And then the other issue is this. Uh, I, I removed the Asus logo from the from the center and I put a piece of electrical tape over it, but there's still this, this indentation and I want to remove that. I want to just completely remove the logo and I think the best way to go about it is to fill it with wood glue. It says right here on the bottle it is sandable, so I figure if I fill this with some wood glue, then sand it until it's level with the rest of the laptop. The only thing that will leave is that I need to paint over it. So we're probably going to end up taking this in a different direction. We do need to scuff it up so that the glue can actually get a strong bond. <laughs> I glued it. 
It actually took a couple of layers to uh, to get enough glue to where I knew that the um, the logo was completely filled in because I feel like the first layer actually shrunk. But I really think wood glue is going to be the best option for this because it's it's a little bit flexible. It just has that little bit of flexibility because you know the the case of the of the laptop flexes a little bit, and I don't want this to be totally brittle and just you know chip off. I really do like the way this looks, and it really pops in certain light but not in all light. So essentially right now it says pineapple and I want it to say pineapple. So we're just gonna sand this off and smooth it up and then paint it. I am really tempted to take the belt sander to this but I'm afraid. You know, let's just give it a little bit. We'll give it a little bit uh, just to take the bulk off. And I think that'll be okay. We're taking power tools to delicate electronics today. Yeah, it's kind of working, but it is touching the plastic. Yeah, I can't use that. So, here goes. Mm, see, this is gonna take an eternity, and I feel like I'm still scraping up the plastic even with this. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some masking tape, kind of put some masking tape around the logo, protect the rest of the plastic so that it doesn't get sanded down. Let's just hope this works. See, this is the trouble with masking tape. It really doesn't keep. Let's give it another go, shall we? Tape is definitely getting shredded. Yeah, that is hitting the rest of the laptop hard. And I feel like the glue is starting to melt instead of sand, just a little bit. Oh no! No! Are you serious? The whole thing just peeled off. It's gone. Man, I was really hoping to paint this this weekend so that it could cure and uh, be nice and solid before I have to put the laptop back in my backpack. Well, things don't always go the way you want them to. Oh, uh, look at the damage the belt sander did to it. That is pretty deep. Putting my college laptop on the line so that you know not to attack your laptop with a belt sander. Okay, I think it's, I think it's looking somewhat, it looks awful. But you know, sometimes art hurts. You know what, new idea. Honestly, a lot simpler, and I should have thought of this sooner. Why don't I just fill this in with paint? Yeah, let's do that. And now we need to decide on a paint. I was hoping to go to Walmart and get some paint, but, you know, I don't want to. And I don't know really what color I want. I have this paint that, uh that I, I used for a different project, and I feel like this is a decent color. This is a nice color for, for the, the, the lid, I guess. Everybody calls this a lid. Why is it a lid if it doesn't cover a container? It's a cover, it's, a, it's the back of the screen. I don't know, I feel like this is a decent color. I feel like I wanna try it. I really like this, mainly because it's house paint. You can go to Lowe's and get, it's a sample jar, really. It's not meant to be actually used but it costs four bucks. You can get a sample jar of any color you want. And it is interior satin, which is, is pretty good for most purposes. But the point is it's tougher than, than craft paint, I think. I like it, and if you're doing a, a, a decently large project and you want a very specific color, this is a good route to go. And they have these fun jars. I like this jar. It's a very nice, thick plastic jar. Anyway, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it on here and we'll worry about the color of the pineapple later. Let's start with the logo, make sure we get that filled in. I really like this. I mean, nobody does this. Nobody paints their laptop. Generally, people just put stickers on their laptop. I don't like stickers. If I'm gonna customize my laptop, I wanna get serious about it. Another great thing about this paint is you can kind of layer it on thick and it's, it's paint and primer combined. It's a whole lot different from working with craft paint. That's probably all in my head, but I don't care. It comes in a really satisfying little jar. So I'm just gonna let that dry overnight and then tomorrow I guess I'll put another coat on it. And then we'll see what we can do about bringing back the pineapple, which has completely disappeared. I figure worst case scenario, this bombs entirely and then we just 
sand off most of the paint and give it a really cool sanded off paint look. Boy, you are chilling, aren't you? This was a huge mistake. This color looks ridiculous. This is paint in a slightly desaturated yellow, a little bit of green. I mixed this up to paint the, the last bit of the laptop and I put the leftovers in this baggie in case I might need them need it some more because I thought I might add some to it, but I think I'm done. There it is. Beautiful. I think it turned out well. It is pretty. The, uh, it shows up much better than what I had going on before, obviously. That's a pineapple. Yeah, it is. So you can see I, I sanded off almost all of the blue paint, but there is just a bit a left. And uh, I do have the logo still covered, so we're all good, and I think it's... I'm happy with it. It doesn't have a smooth finish, obviously. I did use a high-grit paper on the sander. I'm satisfied.